then you're going to have your rolls here on the back this one that is going to guide that paper so basically uh the fixers is just for security that the print head don't uh when it passed to one side or the other one don't get uh cut you know uh or stuck on the film on the edge of the film and then you're going to to have like problems like this one like lifting you know the print head come this way and then lifting the paper so it's just for that so you can have uh, and also more like a guide for that and then when you you have your paper you know going really nice really smooth like this you know that there's not going to be a problem with that again the mini shaker is going to uh, continue pulling that the film for you and then you got your rollers over here that is going to be guided by the way you know to be able to do this you need to use this clip over here this one right now is on you know you can put it all the way down the four and you cannot move the sheet right now but if you lift them up right here you can move the sheet and also this is the way that you can come and clean your rolls because believe me is they're going to uh, get there in time so you want to uh, clean this too and once you do that you can put it in this line over here uh, put the clip uh, the rolls back down and then using the controllers or the printer the one that says up and down you can move the film okay for example let's make sure it's not really nice really nice you know it went uh, all the way without problem it did not get stuck anywhere also you can go back all right so <clears throat> these printers are more like for roll system to be honest because you is a dual head you want to be doing a lot of transfers now if you want to do uh maybe a sheet uh i think it's possible because um you're going to be able to move up you know the sheet any any position you want but you're not going to be able to use it completely because it's going to be the same as you're printing on this is that this is printing right right now it's printing but then it's going to get at some point that if you try to print all the way to here to the margin on the back you cannot do it because you got the rolls so maybe from from the sheet you're going to maybe be able to do instead of 16.5 maybe you're going to be able to do a um to be safe let me let me take a measurement so that way you know and go with a number so you can have it in your mind okay so right now the way i'm seeing it if you try to use a sheet okay so the way i see seeing it is that you're going to be able to print safely in about maybe 13 to 14 inches okay uh 15 inches i think is going to be maybe too close to the rollers on the back but for that you will need to try yourself uh you know the printer is going to continue moving the sheet the most possible way um but to be safe i got to say 14 inches is going to be around right here and the rest is going to uh to be the left in blank so that's for the sheets uh if you want to try that again um you know this type of printer were meant to be used uh more for rolls and uh for big production that's why there are again what dual head uh, printers okay guys so 
we got to you already know what is prime is the dumpers so i already did the black one um so what i'm going to do is next the yellow one that is this one over here just follow the line and your <coughs> excuse me your color your cmyk going to have um letters in the lines so you can see those who have letters you see it here so that way you don't get confused so to prime the the dumper is really easy you just use a syringe you know really nice uh, make sure the line is open you're going to have your clips as you can see here be careful with this because they're really uh sensitive so if you press it the ink is going to come out so that that is what happened to me just in a when i was priming the black one um i was a mess but uh just take this a little bit again make sure that one is the correct line so let's try to just put a little bit just a little bit and if you don't see it coming right away don't worry about it. just take your time so you can uh, have this the correct way there is the yellow one okay so we're going to do this for all the dumpers um, until they're full and then put back. So remember the head that is on the back is, is for, for color, then the one on front is for white. So this time, um, if you have deal with uh, the L1800, um, or any other printers that I got six color and also got like multiple color like six or eight, even nine. Uh, this time is different. You're not dealing with only a few colors, so we you're dealing with all of them at the same time. So we're talking about twelve nozzles in total. Okay. So this one is half. So let me see if I can try to. Uh, pull a little bit more if no it's okay we're going to leave it like that okay because I don't want to I don't want to <clears throat> have a messed up again so we're going to do the same for air, air, uh, all the dumpers and then we're going to do just a, a cleaning so what I did is to clean me uh, make room for the back of the head over there so i just put all the white lines up put in some tape to hold it so that way it's easy for me to prime okay so that's the yellow one and we got to do this for all the colors and when you put back just make sure you put in um a little bit you know really nice it's got to be tight over there because you don't want anything leaking so you can see make sure that you know they're, they're tight just by touching you know if they're tight or not okay they're straight now you can close the here um by priming all these now this one that i got here it says m so that's for magenta Take your time because you don't want to rush this process. Again, it's 12, um, 12 dampers, 12 nozzles. So we finished to prime uh, the CMYK, the colors. Now we're going to do the white one. The white one is supposed to be 
the same process uh just <clears throat> it's going to be more simple because the head is on front and you don't have to you know make room or anything like that to get to the back of the head so basically this one um is almost the same process and more easy i mean you can say that so we're going to sub just a little bit okay guys so uh i just primed the first damper for white ink uh something to let you know is that when you're doing this one you need to do it a couple of times until you see uh, the white ink coming to the filter so the filter is going to get full of ink um you can see it is this one over here this one i don't know if you can see it or my cam is catching that but you know if you don't see it in the cam don't worry about uh the guide is going to show you all of the parts and the components of the printer uh but just to let you know this is going to be uh there okay this one over here the, the filter for the white Okay, so we just finished priming the dampers. Uh, you can remove these. You can open each one back again. To make sure that you're going to have flow of the inks. Don't forget about uh, doing this. That way you set it up your printer. So at this point, this printer has been primed with all the inks. Okay. All right, so after this, you see that uh, our system is working uh, perfectly. You know, all the inks were primed correctly. You got the correct way. <clears throat> uh, if you see here, you got the correct way. For any reason, if you get the printer with six tank, this is the correct way to put it. It's got to be black, yellow, cyan, magenta, cyan, magenta. If you get maybe a tank that is got to be only five, you don't have to worry about cyan and magenta because it's got to be uh, only only one cyan for all of them. Okay. So now that we got the still got the printer on what we want to find out is the position of the print head um, where it's located so what we're going to do is just press left over here you're going to see that the uh, wiper is going to go down and the head is going to move to a position okay It's going to be be there so um, let me see if you can see my screen right here I'm not sure you can see it yeah you can see it there so you can see it says position um, six millimeters so I think that's too close to the border so depending where you go to have the films um you want to adjust this position always so if we you want to start from this from right right here you adjust it to the to the film if you want to uh put the film in the middle of the platen you can do it just you need to adjust the position of this when you want to start um uh, we're going to Press left, so it can move 7, 12, you see that it's going to be moving. And we want to, we want to match that, I see uh, there, how much we got, 
Uh, we got 18, maybe we can do 20 millimeters. And I'm right now, right there on top of that. So after that, you see that says, okay, set position. So you're going to just click enter to set that. Remember that the original that we had was six in case you want to go back to that. So this just move. <clears throat> okay. So let me bring some paper. And let's do that again. Left side. And you see that that we just changed the position before I start here now because we set it to 20 millimeters uh, start where we put it okay you do the your first spring when you you know finish the setting completely and you go to do the, your first print uh, take a look is the position that you got is a good start point and then you know that give you the most of the of the space so you can print okay so let's do a head cleaning um, to see to make sure that our copy station uh, is correct okay so what we're going to do go to the panel uh, click enter you're going to see that says menu and then maintenance uh, click down to move to maintenance enter again uh, clean nozzles just moving down and then enter again you're going to see that says two heads so you want to do that for the two heads so I can put for the first time ink over there and just here so let's do enter it says that it says cleaning. So So the way it's coming slow. That was the white. Right. And we can see all the lines full of ink here. We got the white, we got the all the colors here okay I'm going through the waste tank okay so I just moved the head so you can <clears throat> see the cap extension really quick I think you can see it from this point or this angle uh, I because I see it right now super clear so um, the white ink looks good Obviously, it's going to splash a little bit to the sides, and then you can see here the CMYK, uh, magenta, cyan, black, and yellow. Maybe you can see it better that way. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, by moving the head like I'm doing right now, as you can see, you got full access to the copy station when it's time for you to do maintenance so when it's time to do maintenance you know you can clean the copy station really nice you can come here to the wiper clean it uh, take a look uh, around and clean all of that <clears throat> so I see back here a control so maybe maybe we can put some type of a uh, cloth back here 
a little bit you know just uh, making sure that cable don't get uh, uh, with inks or anything like that but you know apart from that the race is, is looking good